Spectrum firmware updates. Do you need to do one? Because I think I did. Yesterday, Mark came down from Mark's RC and we hooked up the V2 program box to the laptop with all the new Spectrum software that you can get. And we plugged in this ESC and the version of the software that was on this was really old. Um, I don't think it had ever been updated. So we've updated it to the newest version because I would go out with this, with these, I know they're only cheap, the Yumi, Yomi, 5,200 milliamp LiPos, they're, they're probably not 5,200 milliamps, but on those batteries I was getting about 7, maybe 9 minutes of fast running and then they were dead. Um, so we decided it's probably something to do with the firmware, um, so we updated it. And today we're going to find out if updating your firmware does make a difference. So we're going to go out, we're going to do some high speed passes with this, a little bit of bashing around, might take it down by the river. And um, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get a better runtime out of it. So watch on, join us back in the garage later. And if you're struggling with runtimes with your Spectrum Thermos, this is the original orange one, the V1 I believe. But even if you've got the V2 versions, the black ones, get it updated. Because I'm sure we're going to witness a big difference in this now. Let's get the batteries in it and let's go play. Right, 6S. I think the first thing we should do is uh, get some speed passes in. So I have made note of the time, normally this kind of area where I'm just going to run up and down this road, in fact no I'll do a couple of speed passes and then I might go over there, there's probably a little area we can do a bit of bashing, so that'll be cool, but let's just see how fast this goes, yeah, should we give it a couple of passes, let it warm up slightly. Quick this. Wow, it's quick. So yeah, hopefully this uh, upgrade, firmware upgrade, is going to make a difference. Seven minutes would be normally what I would get here. Let's see how fast this is.
we are back in the garage right awesome quick damage report no damage apart from one tire did explode i think it might have been this one i can't remember yeah it was this one look I say it exploded, made a little hole in it and most of the foam has came out. I've got spares, so I'm not worried about that. Apart from that, the truck is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love it. But the real question is, the one that everyone wants to know, is has the firmware updates made any difference? And I can tell you, yes. Massive difference. It's huge, night and day. Uh, run times alone, normally seven minutes on those batteries. This time, in total, I got 21 minutes of quite heavy running. Um, i done seven minutes alone, just running up and down the road, full throttle, full brake. All the passes you could, you could want for the high speed. I've done that for seven minutes because I filmed it, so I know it was a seven minute run. Then I went and played by the river, then I went and played underneath that massive overpass new bridge thing epic you definitely definitely need to do your firmware updates on these spectrum ases if you haven't done one in a while or you don't know how to do them look into it because it's they're not difficult to do you do need the v2 box so ideally buy one of them or do what i did find a friend that's got one and invite them round to do theirs uh, <laughs> we we've done loads of them all together we've done a good few trucks doing the new firmware updates so yeah runtime alone loads better it ran cooler it seemed smoother on takeoff um and i've noticed no downsides so i'm gonna go now and clean this up because it hasn't been washed and i suggest while i clean this up you go and do an update on your firmware please remember subscribe if you're not subscribed bash the bell and i will see you on the next video goodbye